English conversations in the family. Unit One, first time introduction. Oh, David, help me! This box is too heavy. Just a moment, Mary. That's okay, Dad. I can help Mom. Thanks, Tina. I'm so tired. I am too, Mary. But there are a lot more boxes out there to be moved. Hi, my name is Joe Williams, and this is my wife, Sue. We live in the next apartment. Hello, Joe. Hello, Sue. My name is Mary White. Nice to meet you. You must be the new family living in this apartment. Yes, we are. Would you like to come in? Joe and Sue Williams. This is my husband David, and our daughter Tina. Hi, Joe. Nice to meet you. Hi, Sue. Nice to meet you. Hello, Mister and Missus Williams. It's very nice to meet you. So, can we help you? You have so many boxes. Oh, you don't mind? We don't mind at all. We're happy to help our new neighbors. Ah,、oh, okay. <laughs> Unit two. Everyday greetings. Good morning, David. Good morning, Joe. How are you this morning? I'm fine, thanks. And you? Ugh, I am a little bit tired. We worked very hard last night. Yes, we did. Thanks for your help. You're welcome, David. David and Mary, I would like you to meet this family. This is Bill Smith, his wife Kathy, and their son Jack. I'm David White. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, David. Good morning, Mary. I'm Kathy. Good morning. Nice to meet you. This is lovely furniture. Oh, thank you. It was my mother's. Yeah. Would you like to sit down? Sure. Mom, what should I do with this box? Oh, hi. I'm Tina. Hi. My name is Jack. Do you guys live here too? Yeah, I moved in yesterday. Great, I live right next door. Good because I don't know anybody else here. Tina, come here. I would like you to meet Bill and Kathy Smith. Hello, Mister and Missus Smith. It's nice to meet you. Mary, you have a lovely daughter. Thank you. She's not only lovely; she's shy also. Unit two: Everyday greetings. Good morning, David. Good morning, Joe. How are you this morning? I'm fine. Thanks. And you? Ugh. I am a little bit tired. We worked very hard last night. Yes, we did. Thanks for your help. You're welcome, David. David and Mary, I would like you to meet this family. This is Bill Smith, his wife Kathy, and their son Jack. I'm David White. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, David. 
Good morning, Mary. I'm Kathy. Good morning. Nice to meet you. This is lovely furniture. Oh, thank you. It was my mother's. Yeah. Would you like to sit down? Sure. Mom, what should I do with this box? Oh, hi. I'm Tina. Hi, my name is Jack. Do you guys live here too? Yeah, I moved in yesterday. Great. I live right next door. Good, because I don't know anybody else here. Tina, come here. I would like you to meet Bill and Kathy Smith. Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Smith. It's nice to meet you. Mary, you have a lovely daughter. Thank you. She's not only lovely, she's shy also. <laughs> Unit 4. Asking for and giving directions. Oh, hi, Mary. Have you finished moving everything into your apartment? Yes, I've been busy cleaning all day, trying to get all of my housework finished. I'm so glad to have a new neighbor who's so friendly. Yes, I am so happy we moved here. I am so glad to have many friendly neighbors. I talked to Sue today, on the telephone, and she asked me to join you and go to the market together. Oh, that's great! I'm glad you'll be joining us! Yes, me too. I have no food in the apartment. So, I'll see you at twelve. No, actually, I'll meet you at one o'clock there. Although... I forgot to get directions from Sue. Oh, okay. It's very easy to get to the supermarket. I can tell you. Okay, just a moment. First, you go straight on Main Street for about one mile. At the second traffic light, turn left onto Grayson Avenue. After you turn left, go straight about four blocks. The supermarket will be on your right-hand side. It's very large, so you'll see it easily. Okay, let me repeat this to make sure I have the directions correctly. All right. Go straight on Main Street for one mile. Turn left onto Grayson Avenue after the second traffic light. Go four blocks, and the supermarket is on the right-hand side. That's exactly right! So I'll see you there, okay? I'll see you there, Kathy. Bye-bye, Mary! Bye-bye. Unit 5. Returning from the Supermarket Was a funny story, Mary. Yes, so do I. Just put those over there beside the sink. By the sink? Yes, over there. Mary, what should I do with the salt and pepper? You can put that beside the stove. And talk about these vegetables. Those can go in the refrigerator. Do you want this fruit in the refrigerator also? No, that can go above the microwave. And how about these cans of food? These can go above the sink. Mary, what about this bottle of soap? That can go under the sink. Wow, Mary, I think you've got enough stuff here for a whole month. Yes, 
I think so. I don't want to have to go to the supermarket again for a long time. Mary, how about the bread? Where should I put the bread? That can go above the microwave, behind the fruit. Okay, I think that's everything. Good, you can throw the bags in the trash can. Oh, thank you so much for asking me to join you to go to the supermarket today. You're welcome, and I'm sure David and Tina will be very happy too. Unit 6, Refusals and Excuses Hello, Joe's Accounting Firm. How may I help you? May I speak with Sue Williams, please? This is Sue speaking. May I help you? So, this is Kathy. Oh, Kathy, hi. What's up? Well, I was wondering if you and your family would like to go on vacation with us. Oh, we would love to go. And the White family is going also. Great! Where are you going? We're going to Florida. Oh, that's very far away. Will you fly on a plane? Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm afraid we cannot go. It would be too expensive for us. But... We have a very special prize for the plane tickets. It's really not very expensive. Well, when are you going? The last week of June. Oh, Kathy, I'm sorry. We're not free the last week of June. Oh, why? Joe and I both have to work. And we don't have enough vacation time. Can you ask your boss for more vacation time? No, it is very difficult for us to ask for vacation time. I'm sorry, but we really cannot go. Are you sure you cannot go? I'm sure it would be impossible for us to go. I really wish you could go, Sue. Yes, so do I. But it's really not convenient for us to go. I'm sorry. Never mind, Sue. That's okay. But I hope you all have a good time in Florida. Thanks. I'm sure we will. Oh, and Kathy? Yes, Sue? Thank you for inviting us to go along. I'm really sorry we can't go. No problem. Maybe next year you can go with us. Okay, sure. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Unit 7. Planning the Vacation Okay, does everyone know what they want to do on our trip to Florida? Well, Kathy and I want to go shopping every day. And David and I want to go boating and fishing every day. And Tina and I want to go to the beach every day. And the zoo, the museum, and the mall. Wait, wait. I think we have two months to do in one week. David is right. We should make a schedule of everything that we would like to do each day. Okay, I have a pen and paper. I'll write down everything we plan to do. Okay. Okay, on Sunday, we'll go to the airport and fly to Florida. 
will arrive at the hotel in the evening. Okay, Sunday, airport, hotel. And on Monday, can we all go to the beach together? Sounds good. Monday, beach. Tuesday, everyone can go shopping together and we'll buy gifts and souvenirs. On Wednesday, the men can go boating and fishing, the women can go shopping again, and the kids can go to the beach again. Slow down, slow down. I can't write that fast. And Thursday, we can go to the zoo. Thursday, zoo. Friday, the women and children could go to the amusement park and the men could go boating and fishing again. I think Saturday should be a day for everyone to do what they want to do. It's the free day. And of course, on Sunday, we go to the airport. And we fly home. Well, I think we have a good plan for our trip to Florida. Yes, I've written down our plans for Sunday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and the last Sunday. I'm so excited! Unit 8. Going to visit Sue's house. <laughs> Come on in. We're sorry to bother you, Sue. We were packing for our trip to Florida, and we were hoping that we could borrow some things from you. Yes, I have so many things to pack that I don't have enough suitcases. <coughs> you don't? No problem. We have many extra suitcases. You can borrow one. I can? Oh, thanks. That's very nice of you. Also, do you have an extra tennis racket? David and I were hoping to play some tennis while we are in Florida, but we only have one racket. No problem. You can borrow Joe's racket. She can? Yes, she can. Oh, yeah. Sure, sure. Yes, you can. Oh, Sue, I'm so disappointed that you're not going to join us in Florida. I hope you're not too bored being at home this week. Oh, we're not staying at home. Why not? No. We're not. I talked with my mother on the phone this morning. You did? Yes, I did. She wants us to come and visit her for a few days. <gasps> she does? Yes, she does. As a matter of fact, we're going tomorrow morning. Oh, so you need to start packing your suitcase right now, dear. I should? Yes, you should. Do you have a problem with going to visit my mother? Oh, no, not at all. I would love to visit your mother. You would? Yeah, I guess it will be all right. Oh, Sue... I'm so happy that you don't have to stay home all week. Going to visit your mother is a wonderful idea. It is? Unit 9. Packing your bags. Joe, why do you look so upset? I wanted to go to Florida with our friends. I'm frustrated. Don't be 
upset. We're going to visit my mother. I know we're going to visit your mother. That's why I'm upset. <gasps> And why don't you want to go visit my mother? Because. Yes. Because why? Because I don't know what to pack in my suitcase. So you have so many clothes. So many nice things. I know that's the problem. I don't know what to take. Oh, Joe, here. I'll help you decide what to take. How about these blue pants? You can take them when we go shopping with my mother. Okay, and oh. I guess this red shirt would look nice with the blue pants. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. And I think you need to take a jacket or a sweater because the evenings will be cool. Well, should I take the large tan jacket or should I take the small green sweater? Um, I think this will be enough. You think so? Okay, the small green sweater. Okay, uh, what about my swimming suit? Let's see. Should you take the black one, or how about your yellow bathing suit? I think the black one is better. Oh, I like the yellow bathing suit. I think you should take this one. I really do. All right. Okay. Well, what shoes are you going to take? Shoes? I don't know. Should I take the brown shoes or the white shoes? Um, I think the white ones are better. Okay. I think I can finish packing myself now. Thank you, Sue. Any time, especially when we're going to visit my mother. Oh yeah. Unit ten at the doctor. Oh, what's the matter? Are you all right? What's the matter? Oh. I have a stomach ache. Oh, I don't know. I just know that my stomach hurts. I think I should take you to the doctor. Joe Williams, that's us, doctor. Sit down. Thank you. How do you feel today, Joe? Oh. I have a very, very bad stomach ache. Okay, you have a stomach ache. Do you have a fever? A fever? I don't know. Am I hot? No, you're not hot. You don't have a fever. Do you have a headache? No. Just my, just my stomach. Have you been feeling tired? Tired? Well, not very much. Have you been coughing or sneezing? Coughing or sneezing? No, I have not been coughing or sneezing. Doctor, do you know what's wrong with Joe? Well. He has a very bad stomach ache. Yeah, but he does not have a headache. He does not have a fever. Yeah, he has not been feeling tired, and he hasn't been coughing or sneezing. Have you been eating these? Eating? Yes. How many of these have you eaten? I don't know. Twenty. Look, 
They're very delicious, very good. Now I know why you have a stomach ache. Here, take three of these every hour for the next two days. You will be feeling better by tomorrow. Unit Eleven. I am so sorry. Sue, I'm sorry. Sue, really, I'm very sorry. I don't believe you. Sue, please, please forgive me. I can't go to my mother's today. What? I can't hear you. Please speak louder. I said we can't go to my mother's today because you had to go to the doctor. I was sick. You ate too many chocolate bars. I'm really sorry. I don't forgive you. So, please, really, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. No, you shouldn't have eaten so many chocolate bars. <gasps> hey, wait a minute! You gave me those chocolate bars. Oh, I guess I did give you those chocolate bars. <coughs> yeah. Oh, Joe, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have gotten mad at you for eating the chocolate bars I gave you. Will you forgive me, Joe? I'm really sorry. Okay, I'll forgive you if you forgive me. Okay, we all forgive each other. Okay. So, what do you want to do now? Well, I'm quite hungry, actually. How about we eat some chocolate bars? <laughs> Oh, Sue, no more chocolate. Oh. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Unit Twelve: Sleeping Late. <gasps> Mary. Mary, wake up! It's ten till ten. We're late. <gasps> we are late, and we have to leave the house to go to the airport at fifteen after ten. That means we only have twenty-five minutes to get ready. Mom, Dad, what time is it? It's nine fifty-two. That means we only have twenty-three minutes to get to the airport. Let's go. Mary, you know what time it is? It's ten o three. We will have to go to the airport at ten fifteen. Can you please take our bags to the car? Sure. Sure. Dad, what time do we have to be at the airport? At half past eleven. Eleven thirty. Do you think we'll make it? I sure hope so. Tina, did you pack all of your suitcases? Yeah, they're all packed. Okay. Are you sure you got everything? Yes. Okay. You got your toothbrush, your toothpaste, your hair dryer, your makeup. Yes, yes, and yes. Okay. So, David, did you get everything? Yes. I have my shoes, my clothes, a book to read on the plane, and all of our money. Okay, okay. So everyone got everything, right? Yes, we're sure we have everything. 
Okay, this is everything. Let's go. All right. Unit 13 at the airport. Attention, please. Flight 747 is now boarding at gate 39. Excuse me. Yes, ma'am. Can I help you? Yes, we are late for a flight to Florida. Okay, and what is your flight number? Our flight number is 1250. Your flight is at 1250. No, our flight is at 1130. Our flight number is 1250. Okay, how many tickets do you need for your flight? We have six tickets for our flight to Florida at 1130, flight 1250. Okay, you have 12 tickets for 1130 that leaves at a half past six. No, no, we have six tickets at 1130 for flight number 1250. Whoa, you need to hurry. It's 11 o'clock. I know. Could you hurry as quickly as possible, please? Okay, that's six tickets. Yes. And it is flight number 1250. Yes. Okay, and it leaves 11.30. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. <gasps> I'm sorry, ma'am, but that flight has been delayed. It does not leave for another one hour and 45 minutes. What? You mean we got up very quickly? We got ready very quickly? We came to the airport very quickly, and you are telling me that our flight does not leave for another hour and 45 minutes? Yes, but that's good. How is that good? Now you're not late. <music> Unit 14 at the hotel. I am so tired. I'm more than tired. I'm exhausted. I think everybody's tired. I'm a little tired, but not too much. Yes, me too. I think we should go somewhere tonight. How about going to a movie? Sorry, I thought you'd like to go see the beach. Sweetheart, you're a little late. It's dark outside already. I would like to take a shower before we go out. Yes, David is right. I think we all need a shower before we go out. All right. After everyone's had a shower, we'll go out to eat. Could we eat pizza? Tina, dear, we had pizza last night. We need to try something different tonight. How about Chinese food? Can we go find some Chinese food? Sounds good. Okay, let's take a shower first, and then we'll all go out to eat Chinese food. Mom? Yes, Tina? If I don't want Chinese food, could I order a pizza? <laughs> Unit 15 at the Chinese restaurant. Good evening. Hi, there's six of us. Ah, you want to kick a bus? No. I said there are six of us. Oh, there are six of you. Yes, 
Is there a table free? Huh? You cannot see? No, no. Is there a table free? Oh, yes. Please come. Excuse me. How much is the soup? You are a very large group. No. I asked you. How much is the soup? Oh, it is three dollars. And what about the rice? It is one dollar a plate. Okay, I think we would like six bowls of soup, six plates of rice, and one large duck. <laughs> Unit sixteen. Congratulations. Hi, honey. I'm home. Where have you been? You've been gone for a long time. Well, I went to the doctor. <gasps> to the doctor? Sue, are you sick? Why didn't you tell me you weren't feeling well? Joe, dear, I'm not sick. You're not sick. If you're not sick, why did you go to the doctor, darling? We're going to have a baby. <gasps> a baby? Yeah. We're going to have a baby. Oh, oh! I'm so happy. I know. I'm excited too. I'm going to call all of our friends on the telephone. Okay, I'm going to tell them the good news. Okay. Hello, Kathy. Yes. Sue is going to have a baby. A baby. Oh, Sue, this is great! Congratulations! Thanks, Kathy. I'm so happy for you and Joe. This is terrific news. We must have a congratulations party. We can invite everyone. Oh, that is a terrific idea. We could invite your family. And we can invite the White family also. Yes, this is fantastic! Congratulations, Joe! Congratulations, Sue! Thank you. Unit seventeen. Thank you. Oh, Mary. This is so beautiful. Thank you very much. You are welcome, Sue. Wow, beautiful. Thank you for the lovely baby clothes. They're perfect. And Jack, it's so nice of you to give your ball for the baby to play with. Don't mention it, David. I can't thank you enough for the lovely toy you made. Are you sure it wasn't too difficult for you? No problem. Think nothing of it. I want you all to know we appreciate these gifts so much. They are really lovely. We are really so lucky to have such good friends. God bless you all. Thank you. I want to thank everyone also. When our family moved into this apartment, we didn't know anyone, but now we have many new friends. I agree. You're all very special to me, Tina. You know how you can be a good friend to me in the future. How? You can help me take care of the baby. In your free time, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm so glad you have moved into our apartment building. 
I think we've become very good friends. Yes, we have, and I think we will all be friends for a very long time. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment on my video. Please subscribe to Learn English with Jessica channel to watch more helpful videos. Goodbye.